Hello and welcome to Dear Photography. Now, I did use in the media one that I wasn't going to cover cloud storage as a medium for you to save your photos to. Now, it is a medium you can use, but there is a number of limitations to, to, to use in um, online cloud storage for storing your photography. Now, you are limited to the amount of storage that any cloud server will provide you with. And this limitation for how much they are charging can quickly fill up. And once it's full, you'll have to pay for more. And it's not just that you're paying for something now. Each and every year you will be paying for this storage just to hold. So you might say, well, I could get with this one 10 gigabytes of storage. That's a lot. Over time, that will fill up. And when it comes to a point, you will then have to either erase some of the things you have on storage or buy more. So spend more. And the price today is not going to be the price tomorrow. So remember, cloud storage may be a good idea, but you have to be able to link to the internet to do it. So therefore you could use up, if you use a dongle for your internet, you can quickly use up the allowance of your dongle transmitting your photos from you to the site. It doesn't take long for that to be used up, especially with large files. Now, I do, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use cloud storage. There is points where these small amounts that we'll look at here can be useful. If you're saving JPEGs, you can save much, much more than what you can with your raw file. But I wouldn't still rely on cloud storage as being a good method of storing your photos. You might get either one gigabyte, but you could get up to one terabyte free. But as I said, that can fill up fairly quickly. So if you're going to use that when you're away and you can find some free internet or free Wi-Fi where you are and you're worried about the pictures you've taken, yeah, you can store them on that, you know, for until you get home as something to, to secure them. Really, the only use I find that you could really use this cloud storage for is for your JPEG backups. After you spend time processing the raw file, it is at least some protection. But there's been a big hoo-ha recently over a certain cloud storage company that went from allowing you to store unlimited amounts to then charging you large sums of money to store. It's looking at the storage sites themselves. You really don't know who they are. You really could say, well, this is ranked in the top 10. Well, it could be ranked in the top 10. But any one of them can sell out, be bought out, go bankrupt. And what happens to your images? Probably they'll be lost. So a backup source that you have zero control over. Some of them charge a massive amount of money just to store a small number of, of photos. You know, we can pick one and go through these. Free plan comes with two gigabytes of storage. Can be expanded. To, um, free box accounts not enough. Uh, upgrades for seven for nine pound ninety nine dollars. Um, we up to fifty gigabytes. Still not very big, but if you're thinking. Nine ninety nine a month. You know, 
that's a hundred dollars in ten months hundred and eighteen dollars a year times that every single year for just keeping your pictures wouldn't it be more sensible just to buy a hard drive looking at the prices I showed you in the last one and say look I'll just put on the hard drive no need to transfer out off to someone else no chance of being charged over and over because if you're looking at looking at these prices then you should be able to see that once you start paying for it they become very expensive per gigabyte you know backing up is important but you need to have control and you need to know that whatever these companies are that it's safe and there's nothing to say that they are there's nothing to say if someone's not going to go into your account and have a look at your photos the best thing for you to do over using a cloud storage medium to save your raw files is just buy a hard drive yourself keep it at a friend's buy a, a fireproof safe if you're that worried about it and stick it on that but relying on cloud storage at the cost that they charge isn't good and you will find they will run out they will do something to mess you up and therefore that's why I didn't include them in the media because once they leave your hands anything can happen to them now I hope this has helped you probably may not have the same thoughts as I do over, over cloud storage but comment like subscribe and we'll see you on the next video goodbye